You were on OK Keep It for a long time. Mm, I don't think it was a long time. It was about maybe three months in total. Okay. Yeah. Um, so in that short period of time, we also were on another dating site, I think, right? Uh, not at that period. Bef- previously, I had used Plenty of Fish, and previous to that, a long time ago, I'd used um, Craigslist. <laughs> um, so, in your opinion, do you like to be the first person to message uh, a girl, or do you prefer that you get messages from women? Honestly, the way I look at it, I prefer to just widen the chances of things happening. I prefer to increase the chances of things happening. And messaging and receiving messages, I get both. Like, there's some women that will send you a message first. And there's some women that will wait for you to send a message. So having both is just good because I'm trying to find, like, a really... A place that's really compatible with me. So it'll just give me, like, the a good pool to choose from. Mm-hmm. So I'll take both, to be honest with you. Did you notice any kind of difference in the quality of the dates when you were the first person who messaged or when she was the first person who messaged? Or would you say that it really depended on the person? Well, one thing I would say is that when I received messages, it was much less likely for that person to flake out when it came time to actually meet up and go on a date and, do, and like chat in person. And um, as always, you know, as a guy sending a message out, you never really like you. You can't. It's kind of like sending out resumes. So like you mightn't hear back. From, a, some, from someone for whatever reason or they might stop talking to you at any point for whatever reason and can't really dwell on it too much but if you get a message from a girl it's much less likely that you know communications will drop off just <laughs> given that you can talk well and you have you know you can carry a good conversation just all things balanced mm-hmm. it's just you know it's much more likely to actually for you to actually see that person and chat with them in person. So, what is your opinion on the dating app Bumble, which uh, allows women to message first, only women? Only women. Um, I've never personally been on an app that worked like that. Um, also, because I didn't know about it, or I'm not sure if it was out at the time when I was dating. But I think you should use whatever you feel comfortable with. So, like, um, some people aren't comfortable dating online at all. Um, some people aren't comfortable finding people in bars. Some people prefer bars. Some people prefer, you know what I mean? So, like, say, if I, like, say if I was on, like, if I didn't have much luck with Cupid, right? And... Like, you know, maybe I got, like, say I got, like, a bunch of harassing things, whatever. Let's just say I did, right? I might want to be like, okay, maybe I won't use online dating at all, but an app that worked a specific way would say, all right, maybe I had told myself that I would never really use online dating again, but this kind of changes the rules of what I'm accustomed to getting. So I think you should use what makes you feel comfortable. Yeah. Do you have any advice for uh, newcomers to the online dating world? Newcomers to the online dating. I would say it's really good to... It's, it's not easier or harder than real life, but with online dating, I think what makes a big difference is constantly refining, like looking at what type of messages you're getting, looking at what kind of dates you're on, like if you're not satisfied, 
um, going over it and finding ways to better portray the message that you want to get out. Because the type, like the type of profile you put out, you're gonna attract a certain type of person. And if you aren't attracting the type of person you want, then just going over the profile, your profile a lot, and just seeing, all right, maybe this might get, maybe this might send a certain message that I don't want to send right now. So you ref, like you refine it until you start getting the people that you click more with, and stick with it. <laughs> Because I remember I was on I was on it a lot. Like if I wasn't working, I was just on it a lot, and it really kind of got discouraging after a while. Because maybe you don't hear back, or it's you know things don't work out, or people flake. And like I remember, I wanted to like just delete my profile after like a month, a month and a half, and um, I stuck through. I pushed through it. And then things really changed, and I was get, meeting more people that I clicked with, and that was really nice. So, uh, it's work, <laughs> and you should power through it, and I, th I feel like it'll have great benefits. Like, it'll pay off. It'll pay off, yeah.